Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit using L'Hopital's rule. But before we do, let's figure out what kind of case we're dealing with to see if L'Hopital's rule indeed does apply. So we're letting x tend to negative infinity, and we're considering the function x times 3 to the x. Well, clearly when x goes to negative infinity, x goes to negative infinity. And if you're not sure what happens to 3 to the x when x goes to negative infinity, you can sketch the graph of 3 to the x. It's a basic exponential function, and it looks something like this. At 0, the value is 1. So you see when x is very large and positive, 3 to the x is even larger and positive, but when x goes to negative infinity, then 3 to the x is approaching 0. Think about this at negative integer values. At negative 1, the value is 3 to the minus 1, which is 1 third. At negative 2, the value is 3 to the minus 2, which is 1 over 9. And then you have 1 over 27, 1 over 81, and so forth. So the larger x is in negative, the smaller 3 to the x is. So, as x goes to minus infinity, 3 to the x is shrinking to 0. So we have a strange case here, where on the surface we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule. We have a product of two functions, where the first gets larger and larger and negative, and the second gets smaller and smaller and shrinks to 0. But we can only apply L'Hopital's rule if the case is of the form 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity. Well, the idea here is quite simple. If we send one term to the denominator, we create a fraction, and as we'll see, then we can use L'Hopital's rule. So I will keep the x on the numerator, and if I send 3 to the x down, the power becomes negated, and it, of course, is 3 to the minus x. And I will have a very different case. As x goes to minus infinity, x goes to minus infinity over, and this is where it's interesting, as x goes to minus infinity, negative x will go to positive infinity. And 3 to the infinity will blow up to infinity. And now we have turned the initial case, which was negative infinity times 0, by a simple algebraic manipulation to a case that is negative over positive infinity. Now we can apply L'Hopital's rule. x is still approaching negative infinity. So the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 3 to the minus x, well, we have here an exponential function, the base is 3. The derivative of an exponential function is itself times the ln of the base, so ln of 3. But that's just the derivative of the exponential function 3. There's still a negative, le a negative x left over. By the chain rule, we have to multiply this by the derivative of the argument, which is simply negative 1. And now let's see what we're dealing with. So we look at our case. Well, 1 is always 1 over, as x goes to minus infinity, negative x goes to positive infinity, and so when the argument gets big, the function 3 to the x gets even bigger, so this term goes to positive infinity, ln of 3 is some positive number, so this still goes to positive infinity, times negative 1 will go to negative infinity. But if you take 1, and you divide 1 by a larger and larger and larger number, even if it is negative, it will still get smaller and smaller and smaller. It will be approaching 0 from the left, but nonetheless, it will still shrink to 0. 
and so the limit is quite simply zero. So you see, this was an interesting problem. We had, as, as x tends to negative infinity, we have a product of two functions. The first gets bigger and bigger and negative. The second gets smaller and smaller and shrinks to zero. And because in the end the limit is zero, this means that the second term, the 3 to the x, took over and killed out the product to zero. You have to be careful. In some other cases, the bigger term may win, and then the whole thing will just go to positive or negative infinity. And sometimes, as we're going to see later on, the bigger term and the smaller term will balance each other out to give a non-zero answer. But what was interesting here is with a simple algebraic manipulation, we could create a case that allowed us to use L'Hopital's rule. And that's it.